for you. No, nah, he. That's mad. I'll mm-hmm. write it for you. All it's, right, so it's good all right, so we so we gonna do it, and um, we just gonna get right, get this shit pop. Okay. Cool, oh, so yeah. we we on? We yeah, on, man. We we'll on, start the show. We're right, back. Fuck. Listen, man. We've had some good guests lately, dude. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So we had an OnlyFans model. Two. We had a nightclub promoter. Mm-hmm. It's fucking been dope, dude. Boys from back home. Absolutely, yeah. We shout out to the boys from back home. Yeah, shout out to Baltimore City, Yo. man. We have we had our dudes from back home, so we've been like kind of killing it on the guests. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. recently, if I can, if we talking good, we've been we've been killing it on the guests. So I'm 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 definitely digging that for sure. It's been fun. It's yeah, been it's fun. been fun, man. And I'm and I'm appreciating all of y'all that watch us, man. And Check on us, man, and mm-hmm. make sure to look at all the new episodes. Shout out to y'all. Without y'all, we can't do what we do. So right. I'll never want to forget yeah. that. And you know what? I want to tell man. if you're watching this right now on YouTube, comment. Like, tell us what you think. If you like what we talk yeah. about, if you don't like what we talk about, if there's something you want us to talk about, like comment yeah. on. The, like when people comment on those videos, I love that shit, man. Absolutely. And even if they say Russell, you're a dick. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can. Um, I can take that because sometimes I can be a dick. Yeah. So Pause. I mean, I, I I get it. If it's something you know, I mean, we you want to talk about, definitely comment though. Yeah. For sure. But how you been though, man? Everything I've been good, good man. Good. Grinding, getting after it. You know me, man. Chasing the bag, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Listen, that's what we do, man. Yeah. Nonstop that's, forever. That's the right? whole thing, and that's kind of what we wanted to talk about today too, man. Yeah. Kind of chasing that bag and getting to it and dreams and stuff, man. Mm-hmm. So. I know this was something kind of close to your heart too, but so I let you. Yeah, man. You know, we we talk about this show and the podcast, and uh, our guests lately really brought it to life for me because where we're at, like, I don't want to divulge too much, but like, we're in like a very very nice neighborhood and a super nice. Like, we're probably in like a million dollar house right now. They see the studio, but like, they don't know where it's at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when our guests come, they see where we're at. Yeah, yeah. uh, And and their reaction to. The house and the studio and the equipment and the way we do things, you know, mm-hmm. it, it's inspired me lately. You know, everyone's always like, man, it's all professional. This looks really dope. Right. And um, I've just been reflecting lately on like what it took for us to even be able to build all this shit, you know. Absolutely. Man. And like for me, like we kind of like threw this whole studio together in like a, maybe a couple of weeks. Right. We said like, yo, we're going to team up. We're going to do a show. We're going to do this, this and this. We need all this shit. Me and Miles found all the equipment. We copped it. We set it up. We tested it. It's been an ongoing little bit of a experiment to mm-hmm. get it dialed in. For but sure. like, you know, what people don't realize is like they just see this shit and think you can just sit down and have this podcast, right? Mm-hmm. But for us to be able to create this and build this, like, it took me like, remember on our last podcast we were talking about how many jobs I had? Like, I had like yeah. thirty jobs, you know? Like, Absolutely. I always like talk about like my five percent rule. If I take everything I've ever done in my life, like. If I take 5% from each of those fucking things that I've done in my life, like that 5% is what I take with me forward in my life, right? Mm-hmm. Those are my lessons, right? Absolutely. So like setting up podcasts, knowing the equipment, how to set it all up together, how to create the reels and promote them and edit and do all these things, you know? It took me like failure after failure after failure mm-hmm. to get here. So then when people show up and they're like, damn, this is crazy. I want to do this. And I'm like, listen, man, like, it's going to take some work to do this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, we talked a little bit about this before we started the show. Like, where you're at with comedy. Like, you said it in the last episode. Like, you can just sit down and chop it up like this all day. This is what you do. But people don't realize, like, what it took. Like, how many conversations have you had to have Mm -hmm. in comedy, outside of comedy, for you to be this comfortable doing this kind of shit? You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes people, like feel like you can just jump into shit and like mm-hmm. i just i just like to remind people like everything is way harder than you think like you gotta fail you gotta get after it right yeah absolutely and i think but but jake for me personally and not mm-hmm. just with you with anything in life and i've learned this because it, it was the polar opposite before mm-hmm. i'm more attracted to a person that has failed more yeah. so than a person that's had some success early yeah because the person that's failed knows exactly what not to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Life yeah. has taught them. Right. And those lessons, you learn more in failure than you ever learn in success. Yeah. Success is just the, the, the success is just the soup being pulled off the, the stove yep. after all the failures. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? That that that. So so you learn more. People don't want to know ingredients. about when you cut your damn thumb off chopping them veggies, right? Exactly. Yeah. They don't want to know about crime when you cutting the onions. They yeah. don't want to know. Yeah. You know what I mean about yeah. that? But that's all of the things that go into being successful. So failures yeah. is never anything. Yeah. You know, on a track. If you ever failed at something in the past, did you ever get embarrassed about it? Yeah, absolutely. Like all like, of it, right? Yeah, my whole comedy career, man, because I put so much out there because I know who I am. Yeah. I know exactly what I bring to the table. Like, yeah. I'm definitive about who Russell Parham is. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah, yes. I know what I can do. Like, yeah. I know I, I, I can't shoot a three-point shot, but I know I can make 300 people laugh. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I understand who I am in that realm and how that kind of works with who I am. So at this point in my life, I just want to position myself to put my myself in the best position to succeed. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. want to do what I love. Right. And that's what we were talking about earlier, dreamers. Yeah. yeah. Versus what I call worker bees. And I don't say worker bees in a way that that's disparaging or anything like right. that. Most people are worker bees. Yeah, most like, people are It's not are a bad bees. thing, right? Yeah, and but we it's need just, worker bees. Yeah, it's just when you're not a worker bee, you really fucking know it, right? Off the bat, yeah. and you're automatically uncomfortable in normal, what people call normal life. Yeah. And you make those normal people uncomfortable just being around them a little bit, right? Yeah, you make them nervous, and yeah. you make them take kind of inventory of their life. Yeah. Because it's easy for you to be like, you care about this job. I've said this so many times to yeah. people that have been on a job. You ever been on a job, mm -hmm. and you, you got something else working, and you you like, this is going to work for me. Yep. This is going to do, and people like, really serious about the job and you're like this job bullshit man yeah, yeah. like this ain't forever <laughs> we're this... digging a ditch right now motherfucker yeah we're digging a ditch <laughs> right now bitch you got on a real bright vest and a hard hat <laughs> right there's no future in this shit, shit. Man, yeah it's shit. no future in this shit so why do you care about how perfect the ditch is yeah because this i'm just doing this for the time being and as a dreamer you never fit in yeah because you never see I'm yourself i'm incapable of caring how caring how straight mm. the ditch is like i just can't like but there are people who definitely do like and because it's, it's to a take fucking ditch yeah to me it's just a fucking ditch I, I don't know what pride you you take do you go home and be like listen kids your daddy dug a ditch six feet <laughs> wide three feet who gives a fuck right like no one <laughs> no one's like you know, like, hey, who is that? That's Joe. Joe, the best ditch dig in the fucking world. This yeah. guy, if you need a ditch dug, you call him. Mm -hmm. No one ever says that. Yeah. So, like, not that there's anything wrong because we need ditches. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Exactly. But at the same exactly. time, when you're a dreamer, mm -hmm. you don't fit into that. Yeah. That, that preconceived notion of I'm going to stay here and die and get a pension and drop yeah. dead in my cubicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not for that. This is this is a means to an end. Like, yeah. this is what I need to do now until I can do what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, a, and that's a hurtful feeling. Have you gotten that dreaming, like, when you, your regular life is some, I was telling Miles, it's some Cinderella shit. <laughs> like, when you, when you, you go do a good show, yeah. fucking hundreds of people kick a hole in it. You funny. You taking pictures. Mm -hmm. You signing autographs. But eight o'clock that next morning, you punching somebody's fucking clock, yep. and it all goes away. Yep. Now you ain't shit. You yep. employees you shit. six nine seven zero get to fucking work. Yep. So. Yep. How do you deal with that? How do you? So like for me, it's it's just. Dude, honestly, for a long time, I didn't deal with it, dude. A long time. There was a, years and years in my life where, like, I felt like a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I felt like I wasn't like normal people. Mm -hmm. Like, I felt like I had I didn't figure something. There were some other people figured out that I wasn't capable of figuring out, right? So, like, for a long time, I kind of, like, talked shit to myself, like, for being incapable of being a regular person, right? Mm -hmm. But as I got older, like I just kept doing shit because like when you have that drive in you to do shit, like mm -hmm. you just do shit, whether or not it's going to work. It don't matter if it's going to work. Don't matter if it's a good idea. It don't matter. Like if it's even going to make you money, like sometimes when you have that drive, you're like, I don't give a fuck. Like this is what I'm trying to do. And I'm going to do this shit. So like mm -hmm. I spent years in the living in a town in the middle of nowhere with like a thousand people mm -hmm. having a tiny studio apartment, right? Just making fucking rap beats for hours, hours and hours all night long. Bam, bam, bam. Making six, seven rap beats in a night. Cause I love that shit. I was really good at it. I liked it. It didn't take me anywhere. It didn't really equate to anything. Right. But I fucking loved it. So I did it night after night, after night, after night, after night. Right. 
looking back from today, like the reason we could put these microphones together and set all this shit up and just do it, it's because of all those fucking nights of dealing with audio equipment. Fucking the computer not working correctly and it mm -hmm. things fucking up and getting mad. Like that's why now when that shit happens, I don't get that upset about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Miles, if it, ain't, if it ain't perfect, fucking Miles, Miles not, perfect, it could yeah. be 99.9999. Yeah, yeah. 9, 9, like that fucking 1% yeah, yeah. is fucking killing me. It's 1% we haven't done. So yeah. I get it. It's, yeah. it's, it's, but, but listen, and that's the crazy thing, even with Miles, like you said, how yeah. like we a perfect team. How me and you be like that shit? All right, yeah, we, we good. Cool. Let's just do it we again. good. Let's go home. Yeah. And I was like, Nah, this is unacceptable. This shit is unacceptable. <laughs> That's when he uses terms like that make you feel bad. He was like, This shit unacceptable, yeah, bro. Right. We can't allow this to be who we are. <laughs> you like, Why is he attacking me on this level, yo? <laughs> Fuck. All right, do it again. <laughs> Fuck, bro. I'm not prepared for a comeback like that. I yeah. thought you were just going to be like, let's work hard. You talking about on some other level, man. Come on, man. You on that crazy shit. Come on, let's get this done. Yeah, I'm feeling bad about myself. I ain't even the guy I thought I was on my way here. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but. But you need that. Yeah, we need that. Yeah. And we and, it, and, it's, and, it's, and I know I need that because as an artist, you know, and, you, yeah. and you've rapped before, so you know as an artist. I got artist, that in me too, yeah, for sure. It's like, man, listen, I'm hot. I'm dope. Yep. Listen, get this shit done. Yep. Like, fuck. Why? Why am I not on? Why am I not? <laughs> but it's so much more to it mm -hmm. than that. Like, it's, you don't even realize, like, to be on the way you want. There are yeah. fucking a hundred things that you need to learn how to do for the thing you want to do to work out correctly, right? Ooh. And you think, like, you're on step five. So, like, why the fuck isn't things working out? It's like, bro, you don't even know how to do step six through 97 like what are you even talking about but there's no way to know that you don't know that shit unless you do it and you fuck up and then you're like damn like i should have done this and this and now you're on stage seven right yeah but it takes every single one of those stages to get us like at your age like you you should have been on 20 years ago in your mind right yeah i absolutely. don't know what it was but there were pieces that didn't come into place right but now you're where you are and we can take your pieces and my pieces and Miles' pieces, and now you're just not one fucking dude. Now you're three dudes facilitating one goal, dude. You're gonna come at, you're gonna come into this comedy thing three times as powerful than you possibly could have done 20 years ago. You know exactly, what I mean? and knowing more, and I can honestly tell more, yeah. you why it never was my talent while I was on Jake. It was really my attitude, just being a dick. Like like knowing I was funny, knowing I had talent, yeah. but telling everybody, opposed to letting people tell fuck me, you, guys. <laughs> you funny. I'm like, fuck you. You funny, yeah. You got no a TV shit, right? show, but I spit your bones in a neatly organized pile at your family reunion, and I let you go first, bitch. I'm funnier than you. Yep. You can't fuck with the police. So they was like, yeah, you right, but you a dick. Yeah. So, but we don't have a lot of fun when we're with you. Yeah, right? we don't have a lot of fun yeah. working with you because you constantly telling us how much better you are than us. So, yeah. that that helped that that hindered me, but the maturity in it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Coming through the years yep. and learning and being and, but look, watch this though. I'm gonna say this and I I don't want to go too far into this, but I just I, I feel like this need to be said cuz I believe it. A lot of times people have to be possessed position for you to be blessed sometimes the guy you gonna meet that's gonna give you your chance yeah he got his own story bro yeah his own journey that he gotta go through to get in the position to bless jake yeah 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 you're right you well listen me? dude if you really dude if you really dive into that think about that i just said 20 years ago you should have been on right now you and me and miles put our heads together to make sure you get on right absolutely so if you think back 20 years, I'm 36 right now. That was 16, 20 years ago, bro. Yeah, when you were ready to get, when you were ready to get on, 
I was fucking 16. Can you imagine the shit that I had to personally go through from 16 to 36? To get to where you at right to now, at. to be in a position right to now you. to do this. Yeah, to help. exactly. There was you no way for saying? that shit to happen. That's to how life worked. You had to go through your own journey yeah. to be positioned in this moment, in yeah. this time. Everything you and Miles been through mm -hmm. up there, fucking inches from Canada in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> from Canada. Yeah, facts, though, man. You feel me? Yeah, like seriously. all that shit. You know how many moves he had to fight? <laughs> Shit. Those are just the women. And that's probably real. <laughs> and that's probably real. So I'm just saying, like, y'all coming. Like, listen, I'm going to go even deeper. Yeah, please. What are the odds? Rock with me on this. Yeah. What are the odds a dude from Baltimore City moves all the way to the West Coast? But that's okay. They ain't even the crazy point. The crazy point is, but he meet two dudes from fucking uppermost northern Michigan. Right. <laughs> like, can't go no further of North Michigan. And we get together. Who would have fucking told you when you were 16? Let's see you meet this black guy out in <laughs> Arizona. <laughs> Y'all gonna come together and do this fucking podcast. But no, bro. It's gonna you know be what, good. though? For real? It's gonna be good. <clears throat> if you were to came back to that version of me and told me that, mm -hmm. I would have been like, that is fucking dope. That's so dope. <laughs> I would have been so happy. Been I would have like, been so fucking happy. You'd be like, I'm in. Yeah, I'm dude, in. done. Whatever I have to go through from now till then, I'll do it. But all three of us individually, if we did it back then, we would have fucked it we up. We would have fucked it up. We wasn't ready. No. Hell no. No. Because I could have told you, I don't know. I can tell you it was definitely been was. But I don't know if it's been coke and horse. Yeah. But it definitely would have been horse. Yeah. I don't know if that would have been my downfall. It was horse. It, dude, without, without what we're doing now, it was horse. Exactly. <laughs> my life, a lot of things in my life now that I'm just getting over, yeah. it's because of horse. Yeah. And I ain't even had the fame or the money. So I could only imagine mm -hmm. with fame and money. Do you think it's better that you got through the horse stage before that, though? Because now you're going you're gonna to be able to uh, go into it more confidently. Maybe a little bit more uh, appropriately. Absolutely, because I think now I understand a whore's power. Okay. The power of a hoe yeah. and how she can change your life, how you can link with the wrong broad and she can take, like, look at it. And I'm not saying some of these women not telling the truth, but look at these men that's paying out the fucking nose, man, for yeah. a woman that's like, well, he touched my shoulder yeah. in 1978. Right. And I feel like I was sexually, uh, you know, assaulted. Mm -hmm. 20 million. Mm -hmm. So who knows where I would have been then? Because I could tell you, in the 90s, before all this shit. You touching some shoulders? I'm trumping like a motherfucker, <laughs> grabbing pussies and everything. I'm, listen, can I be honest? Please, yes. I'm trumping. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, listen, it's the 90s. Women yeah. ain't really had that voice that they had yeah, now. Yeah. I'm a tell. No, you're not. And that was the end of it. I'm good. So you feel me? Yeah. I would have been a mess. Yeah. I would have been a whole mess with some some money, some fame. Honestly, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd still be here. Probably not. I don't. I don't if you gave me some millions when I was under the age of 25, there's a good chance I wouldn't be here right now. And I don't even know what I would do. I wasn't even really into drugs. I'm just certain that I was so fucking crazy at that time that if you gave me some bread. I would have, I would have, I don't know if I would have made it through, man. No. I'm confident I'll make it through now, but back then, yeah. I, I don't think, I don't know, No, man. that's a good answer. He would have been like, Jake, hey, 23-year-old Jake, here's $4 million. Dead. Fuck. I almost died 78 times without being with, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, without being <laughs> Almost True. died a lot of times broke. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> I can only, I guarantee so I that's what always, I mean, though. That's yeah, what I, I mean. can only imagine, yeah, I, I could tell you this, listen. Russ with money, oh my God, man, listen. And the fact of how I thought about myself, I had such an inflated, yes. I was. I used to say shit like this when I started doing comedy. I think I told Miles, I was like, I'm sick of opening doors for myself. <laughs> Do you know how much of a dick move that is, bro? <laughs> for somebody to say something to like, what, fuck, what? <laughs> I actually love that. That's hilarious. Yeah, I was like, yo, I'm sick of opening doors and shit I for myself that, and shit, touching too, door handles and mm -hmm. shit, mm -hmm. pulling doors. Yep. I need me a guy for that. Like, I was really to that point, like, I really thought, 
I'd have been Eddie on some Eddie Murphy shit. Like really probably like with ten guys. I don't know about the leather suits, but I probably would have really been real extra on some Prince slash Eddie Murphy shit. Yep. On some next level. Cause I'd have felt like I Ooh. need to fuck with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that upper That's echelon. Some, some not a regular shit. celebrity. Yeah, not no sitcom star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bitch, you just got a TV show. Yeah. You ain't shit. <laughs> no, I'm talking about some movie star, rock star shit. Yeah. I'd have definitely went there. So, yeah, yeah I'd have probably, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'd have probably been fucked up, Jake. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Do you think if you would have made money while you were younger, you would keep it a lot, whether you'd be here or not, let's put that aside. Do you think you'd still have the money? Because I'm certain that if you gave me some millions under the age of 25, that I would have no more millions left by now. Um, I would have fucked it up. Fuck. Um, damn, that's a good question. Because I always was the type of person, Jake, to I believe in paying for everything. Yeah. So I, I'm not going to make payments on a home. I'm yeah. going to buy that bitch. Yeah. So I can tell you this for sure. Yeah. I would have owned everything I had. Okay. Everything I had, yeah. I would have owned. Um. No, nah, I probably wouldn't have had no money, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> yeah. Probably not so much for drugs or nothing crazy. Yeah. But I burnt so many bridges in the in the industry. I done cussed so many people out yeah. when I was hot and I was up. Like, yep. fuck you. You lucky I'm here with you gracing. I'm gracing mm-hmm. you with my presence, bitch. Open that door. Are those people um, still out there? Yeah, they, they still out so, there. So, okay, I just talked to my wife about this the other day. Mm-hmm. Like, um, So I, <laughs> I haven't been back to my hometown. In, okay, my, my kid is... He just turned eight years old on the 4th okay. of July, right? Yeah. So the last time I was... Oh, I, how shout outs, ha- shout outs to Lincoln. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lincoln. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, he, he was born on the 4th of July, right? Okay. And 4th of July is huge in my hometown. The last time I was home was the 4th of July before Lincoln was born. So the last time I was home was nine, nine years, years ago. ago. Nine years ago, right? Okay. Um, And I haven't been back since, right? And we, I was talking to my wife the other day, and I'm like, hey, listen, like, we could go home and shit, but, like, we might want to just play it cool because if I go out and I go to some bars and, like, I go where people are drinking, like, even now, I'm not 100% sure there's some people out there that if I ran into them, I might still have to fight them now. I don't, I don't know <laughs> if that's the case. Like, there was, I got two or three people in mind, like, if I ran into them in a bar, like, I might have to fight them. And I'm not, like, I'm not trying to fight anybody right now, bro. I'm not, I'm not trying to fight anybody right now. But... Mm-hmm. There's a few people in Hurley, Wisconsin, that if I ran face to face with, I'm not 100 percent sure it wouldn't go down like that. Really? Do you got any of those people out there? Oh, um, thank God, no. Now I'm no. from Baltimore. No, not from listen, Baltimore. Okay. Listen, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm good. I, 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 all my shit settled, but I can okay, tell you, all white, my shit settled. Okay, yeah, all okay. my shit settled. But yeah, white yeah. people do keep a grudge, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They remember you yeah. forgot about yeah, that yeah. shit. Miles, like in Miles, 1981. You, you Miles, you got a couple of people in mind from back home that if we ran into, it might be on. So right. I hate them. <laughs> so are you punching them, Miles, or are they punching you? I'm not no, we're not gonna <laughs> run up. Too much at stake now. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said I got too much at stake now, but I mean, is it an on-site shit? Like on, you know what on-site is? Yeah, like it's like on. That. It's not like that. No, not on my side though. I might have a couple on my like. It's not like that on my side, but on their side, it might be like that. Now hold on, is it a fist fight? <laughs> Especially now, is it a fist fight? Yeah, yeah. It's it ain't no just fist. a fist fight. Just a where fist I'm fight. from, listen, Russ. Mm-hmm. Where I'm from, it's just a fist fight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you gotta specify that. I'm like, Jake, don't go home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you even talking about this, don't go home. Yeah, yeah. It's a very but cordial listen. fist fight. They might even shake hands at the end. But at least, oh, <laughs> they might even shake hands. Let me buy yeah, your yeah. beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah first they punch the shit out yeah, of each other and buy each other beer. Shit. What, you that's fought somebody? Fought somebody, and then you, have, you shake hands, you have a beer at the end. Yeah, I'm definitely. It's been a minute. Does the winner that. buy the beer, or whoever perceived to be the winner? Yeah, was the it? beer usually just shows up. <laughs> Somebody's got beer in the Midwest, man. <laughs> so when you go home, you're going to be good, though, right? I'm you, chilling, man. Yeah, I'm like, chilling. I want to go home. So I you just got to duck the aggression. You're going to be like, brother, yeah. if we arguing about something from 87, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to let that shit maybe, go. Maybe, maybe oh, oh, nine. Oh, nine. You said oh, 09. Come oh, on, oh, bro. Eight, oh, oh, 08 to oh, 010 was a pretty dark place for me, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. You did some shit for me. Yeah, I got in some shit, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen. Oh, we all got I met my wife in 08. 11 if that makes sense oh okay. <laughs> you got yourself together okay yeah. so, but, oh, lost time. 
Oh, you had to make up for last lost time. That's true. That's true. So, so I, listen, I'll just tell you this story. I dated okay. a girl. I dated a girl from like uh, the age of like 17 to 23. So that's like seven years. Oh, yeah. Seven years. And I was very loyal during those seven years, right? But at the end of those seven years, I realized those seven years were my prime. That was my prime. And I fucked it up. So at the end of those seven years, I had to make up for those seven years. So I made up for seven years and about two and a half. Oh shit! Yeah, so yeah, you so was out there. You was, was wild. Yeah, yeah, so wild an animal, straight wild. That's what I'm saying. There's the the people that are so out there are probably like ex boyfriends and shit. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> people that knew you, but you listen, hit they broad. Listen, in 2009, I I would fuck somebody's bitch for sure, without even worrying about consequences. Like, if I ran into your girl and she was down, like that's your problem, bro. So, oh, some of those guys are still out there. <laughs> so, I'm worried that I'm going to go home and be like, bro, you banged my girlfriend in Look, 2009. I'm like, now we I have an eight year old child, sir. And now I have four kids. With her. Yeah. <laughs> have four kids. <laughs> he got four kids, but if he's like, bro, don't be mad at me. It's yeah, all your They're beautiful kids, man. Shit, yeah, they all good? sweet kids. Yeah, we good. Sweet kids. Listen, yeah. the fact that you had four kids with her after you know I banged her mm -hmm. is. Is what it is. You a li you a liberal thinker, and yeah. you you still love the above and beyond her mistakes. Yeah. I don't feel like that's my fault, no. because I'm gonna be honest. I'm not doing it because, <laughs> like, for me, can we be honest? Yeah. I I'm, if I know somebody yeah. and you suck they dick, yeah. I don't think I can be with you. Yeah. I know you suck somebody yeah. dick before. Mm -hmm. That's a given. Yeah, but if I know what his face look like. Mm -hmm. That's just over the top. I don't know if I can do that. Like, yeah. that's just over the top. All right. you, you know how we like to talk about the difference between where you're from and where I'm from? Mm -hmm. There's more people where you're from. Where I'm from? So you got to be more if, forgiven. If, if, if you're older than, like, 19, bro, like, there's a not a great chance that you don't know somebody she's blown before. Like, you don't meet a chick that, oh, that you don't know somebody who's got before. Bro, we, we rely on tourists for the variety. You don't have no tourists yeah. at Park Heights, right? No, no, <laughs> no. No tourists? No tourists up Park Heights. Yeah, no, yeah, fuck yeah. no. Yeah, yeah. No, People no. will come where we're from to go, like, skiing and shit. So y'all try to get them to yeah. have some variety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where it comes from. City coming up to the, you know, yeah. small town to go yeah. skiing. Yeah. But oh, weekend, weekend to weekend, everyone was getting everybody. But it on a normal thing, everybody done fucked everybody. Yeah, dude, on a normal thing, like, your boy might hit her one weekend, and, like, you might know that, and he'd be like, dude, go after her. That's a good one. And then the next weekend, you're like, all right, cool. She's mine this weekend. Like, that's how it would go down where we're from. Well, it's a pass around. It's a pass around. It's a classic yeah. pass around. But, but it's always the dude that fall in love that fuck it up. Because somebody yeah. that get her loves her. Yeah, those are the he ones that are still her, there. loves her. Then you like, yo, you love her. You know it's my weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying You know it's my yeah. weekend So listen This is what I did I gave them the courtesy Of never coming back again <laughs> <laughs> You left town I just it's left like forever I the, You say I gave them the courtesy Of never coming back again Yeah, yeah. So so I, I think they over it Four kids deep I think so too They like I think so We're gonna mind Yeah I mean he may not speak Or shake your hand Or no yeah, shit like that but that. I don't expect but I don't think he'll fight over it because I'm sure. And then, and then now one of the kids, one of the four, yeah, he's not sure about. <laughs> yeah. I guarantee you, one of the four, yeah. he's like that middle one. We got in that fight one time. Yeah, we we <laughs> she we broke home up for three for days. <laughs> yeah, because she say shit like, well, you know, we was broke up uh -huh. from We're that Monday to that Sunday. Yep. We was broke up for that week. She got pregnant in that week. Don't count. That shit happened all the time. Mm -hmm. So now you're taking care of that fucking baby. You don't even well you you know he's not yours because yeah, he's crazy you know. cross-eyed. You <laughs> just know he's not hair, yours. His is red. Yeah, you yeah. just know he's not yours. You he's got just... a permanent around hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't know <laughs> all this rap music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's that shit crazy, bro. But I, I to be honest, and I know y'all always say that. I really do want to see where y'all from. I do. We're I just we're going. We're definitely going, man. When you uh, what day? Uh, we're going not Milwaukee. We're going. We're talking UP. No, no, no. no That's we, what I'm talking about. I where think the we'll, we're going to go. We'll, in, in about a year and a half, two years. So check this out. All the places that I used to do rap shows at back in the day, those places are still there. We'll bring you there and we'll do a comedy show. 
That'd be great. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do, man. That'd be great. Because then the experience that we got with the rap music, you could get as a comic. So, like, you know, you might get some. Of, you might, you might get some of those chicks too, Ross. Yeah, man, yeah, you yeah, be yeah, 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 there, like, bro. My weekend. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in Arizona. I don't know. Right, don't leave ahead. no contact information. Right, right. No business cards. No, no nothing. Yeah, that'd be good. Change the whole yeah. culture. Up yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll bring you up there, though. They been be like Vietnam, you know, with black soldiers, whatever they left kids. They been... It's a dancing basketball guy up this motherfucker. Um, Saigon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I would love to see it just to see the people faces like, uh, Jay, can I speak to you for a minute? Mm -hmm. uh, is that your Uber driver? <laughs> 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 uh, he with me. He with me. Winning state championships in 10, 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All basketball. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great, man. I'm serious, though. I would like to not in the winter, though. It's cold as fuck up there. I would definitely you, have to go up there in the You spring. know what, though, man? I would challenge you to go in the winter. Because I'm not going to lie, it's the most fun in the winter. Really? Because could, you could go skiing and snowboarding. We mm -hmm. could take you snowmobiling. We could bring okay. ice fishing. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. Because the snowmobiling and the skiing is in session, that's when all the tourists come, right? Okay. So, like, if you're going to go, you should go when it's popping. Oh, it, so wintertime is popping. Wintertime is popping there. Winter summertime, time, dead, dead. It's just dead. locals. If you want to meet some grimy local people, like, summertime's it. But, like, if you want to, if you want it to be popping, you got to go during the wintertime. Oh. Snow bunnies. Snow bunnies. Snow bunnies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, maybe we should go in the spring when they be uh, skiing in their bikini. That'd be a perfect time to bring Russ. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I think it would be. I think you would enjoy it. Yeah, just for the cultural awareness. Yeah. That's all I'm talking all about. Too. Just to, you know, get to meet different people. Yeah, That's yeah. all I'm in it for. Expand the horizon. Yeah, broaden my mind. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I don't want to be in a small circle. I want to be, you know, have my mind open to everything. A so, large circle, yeah. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> How long it take to get up? Y'all flying, right? So, Any like, other? if you got there and you flew, you wanted to fly direct into town, like, you'd have to fly from here to Detroit, and then Detroit would take you directly into that little town, right? So you could fly right into it. So it'd probably be like a three or four hour flight to Detroit, and then another hour north. Then on a flight or driving? On a flight. If you okay. drove there, it'd take you like four, three, four days, probably. It's a long drive. No, I'm saying from Detroit. To here? To drive? No, no from where you from? Oh, Detroit up there is probably still like 12 hours north. Oh, fuck. We're yeah, all so the way you definitely north. Gotta, yeah. So you way up there. You all really right. at America, Canada. Yeah. The so, river, ocean, then yeah, the You know where Lake Superior is? Are you familiar yeah. with Lake Superior? So where me and Miles graduated high school, from our town to Lake Superior was ten, like 8 to 10 miles, right? And then it's Lake Superior, and then on the other side of Lake Superior is Canada. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like we're like 10 miles from the lake, and the lake is like the border bait, pretty much. So we're They're all literally the all up. the way north. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it good weed up there? Nah. No. No. You remember brickweed? Do you remember brickweed? Like, pale yeah. Flaky yeah, that's brick. What you mean, yeah. like that brick pack Mexican shit? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Would there be like 89 seeds and a and a half a baby? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 the yeah, you just an open it up and all your weight is seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you really got like 1.5 grams because yeah. the rest was seeds the rest and stems was seeds. and shit. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was, when I was growing up, it was, it was a lot of that. You know what I mean? Oh, so like fuck. the state of a marijuana in Arizona right now that I could just leave here and like there's like a fucking weed store like three blocks away. Bam, bam, bam. Get that good shit. Like that was not real when I grew up, man. Couldn't even imagine that. Couldn't even imagine that shit. Nope. I'm gonna stop there when I leave. Um, but it's legal there now, so it's it, they, they're good now. Is is we cool. is le we legal in the UP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Michigan's is. Michigan's a very liberal state. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, y'all got dispensaries up where y'all at? I know not yeah. that all way fucking no, in Not not er, not not every town. Ironwood has them. So I still got to fucking Escanaba drive hours too. to fucking get it. I bet you Hoda got one now. It's rec now, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But where is it? Is it in the UP or it's not? Well, there's like a, like not every town will have one, but like the bigger towns will have one. So I can drive. I'm close. We'll find one. Yeah, we'll, we'll get one. Okay, yeah. we'll make it. Oh, Plus, like, a... if we go to the UP, we know people who know people, so we good either way, bro. <laughs> oh, all right. So it's like if I took y'all to Baltimore, okay? Yeah. Like, I know people, yeah. boy, let me make a call. Real we might get, quick. In fact, we might get better weed if we call the homies 
as opposed to going to the dispensary. You know. What I oh, mean? so you like? Boop, boop, hey, Skyler. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say a bunch of real names. I'm not gonna do it though. I was, I got a bunch of real names that. No, 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 no yeah. I'm not gonna say. I'm not even gonna say the first names. But yeah, I I gotta I gotta check it out though, man. One time. Yeah, you. Because like y'all it. gotta come to Baltimore City Hell one yeah. time, man. I gotta, I gotta feed y'all good too, man. See yep. how we fucking. What's eat, a famous? Bro. What do you guys eat there? Like, what's a famous food in Baltimore? Like crab cakes. Yeah. Crab cakes. Love crab love cakes. Love like we the home. Listen. Let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck. And people will say this. You will see. And this is how you know we the shit. Yeah. You will see. Most people that sell crab cakes anywhere outside of Maryland, you'll see Maryland style. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's legitimacy. Yeah. But it's, if you're not in Maryland, it's a fucking lie. Unless it's somebody from Baltimore City. Yeah. Like our crab cakes like hamburgers. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Big lump. Ass not in a whole bunch of fucking filling. Lump crab meat. Shit yeah. like this. Yep. Yeah, like a, ch- a real. Ch- I know Miles don't eat chicken with a bone in it. Whoa, hold up. What? About? That's not me. I thought you said you don't like chicken with a bone. I never said that. Well, why you don't eat? We're gonna cut that out of the show. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know what? What about the Popeyes tender shit? That's different. Don't mean I don't like chicken with a bone. I just like the tenders at Popeyes. Okay, all right. My bad. <laughs> we take that back. Just a preference. I gotta get y'all a chicken box. What's the chicken box? I know you No, no, what's the chicken Yeah, box? chicken box is four wings and fries. I could just say four wings and fries. Yeah, yeah. But in Baltimore, a chicken box is a special thing. Yeah. It's, it comes with certain spices, salt, pepper, ketchup on everything. It's fried a certain way. It's just, I guess I got to take y'all home a yeah. half and half. I got to get y'all a half and half. Yep. A triple mix. Yep. Like, I got to feed y'all, man. Take y'all home. And really, ain't no diet shit. Ain't yeah. no. Nah, hell no, man. We on it. You eating, you eating whatever. Like I'm gonna take y'all. We are gonna eat good as we'll, shit. We'll get there. We'll get a, we'll get a Vic. I want the, yeah, go get a Vic. Man, I got the Baltimore. Yeah, got the lock, link, bro. Look, we yeah, we get the, yeah, we gonna get the Vic. They're gonna be like, damn, is Jake from Baltimore? Nah, yeah. he from Michigan, but he know, he cool. Listen, when we get home, they gonna be like, yo, where did you pee at? They gonna yeah. be like, yo, where did you pee at? If, if motherfucker from Baltimore, like, is money up there? Yeah, is there any nah. money up there, bitch? Nah. Can you guys send something up there with you? There's not money up there. Well, it, in that case, yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah, can I send something back with uh-huh. you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's what we yeah. talking about. There's any money up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. In that case, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Those, th- those but the local get sheriff going to yeah. get you, though, yeah, man, because he know you, everybody, They'll get you bro. for sure, man. The, they the always fucking law enforcement know all of y'all, right? Pretty much. Yeah, they so. family. Yeah, so they might have forgot about me by jail. now. It's been a minute. Nah, man. If we go back there, you ran, if you walked up to five cops, one of, and you were like, "Do you know who Jake is?" One of them will know me. Listen, we won't go back with some like Chris. You know, Chris. We won't go back with him. Yeah. But me and Jake are cool. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, yeah. yeah. Good call. <laughs> See, they don't know. I can't even go. In. They don't know Chris, sweet boy. But he's a white guy. He's a white guy. Why Chris can't go back? He looked like he can't go he back. Was, uh, <laughs> He should write a book for real. He's always fucking with the police up there. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I love these stories. See, that's it ain't future, us, that's bro. Our, that's our future security. It ain't just us, bro. I, nah, t- I be not, telling I'm people telling shit though. be going down yeah. on the other side. They be like, nah, I'll be like, yo, real shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah. They, sure. It goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. For real. Yeah. Damn, Chris was a. I'm so. I want to, yes, I want to get to know that. He'll tell you Why? Stuff. Why? That's crazy. He was a fugitive. I want to get to know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he can't carry weapons. Fuck. Or ride snowmobiles. Yeah. <laughs> what? We'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put him on the show. Yeah, we'll, yeah, 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 yeah y'all yeah, need to get Chris on the show. If y'all want to see oh, Chris shit. on the show, fucking send a comment. Like, put Chris if, if on the show. If they hit those show. comments, we'll get Chris on for sure. Chris is, yeah, because yeah, yeah, he yeah, got yeah. the long beard and... It's a good time. You got the muscles. I, yeah, I can feel like it's. That a, might be I, our uh, future head of security, bro. I feel safe. Yeah, I would. Can too. I say I, that? Yeah. I, I feel like yeah. I genuinely mean that. I feel safe, <laughs> like yeah, because I would be easy. I ain't gonna go nowhere to get. Yeah, I'm. I'm easy. I'm like Chris Teller, one in the red dress. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell her, come on. Yeah. 
Yeah, we good though. Hell yeah, man. So what else is going on? We good? Yeah, we good, man. We chilling. Man. We're just gonna keep getting after it. Keep doing these podcasts. Keep doing these For shows. Sure, man. Um, we're popping in Phoenix, man. We got some shows coming out here in Phoenix, dude. I'm telling you, man. Um, it's gonna be on. We got some good more guests coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what, man? We should talk about this. Like, uh, I want to get you some live shows, dude. I think for sure. I think, I, we're, I, I think, I think we're that's what the, the people need, man. To maybe, really whether see it's, me. maybe it's comedy, maybe it's stand up, maybe it's a live podcast. Like, I don't know, man. But I think um, we need to be in front of people. I feel like we need to connect with the people. I think we like need to, to be able to go shake here, hands right? and take some pictures. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Give yeah. out some merch and yeah, hell yeah. talk to some people. Like, I like that idea. What y'all think, man? Live podcast, man. We could do this live. Yep. And bring the guests on live and have the audience there. Yep, I'm feeling that. Yeah, man. we can that's, do that for sure. Hell that's, yeah, that's fucking dope. Yeah, so I let's like keep that. getting after it. I like. We'll that. get you up on some stages. We'll keep for moving. Sure. For Make sure. sure that everybody likes and subscribes to the podcast. Turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. Absolutely, Follow man. So on y'all IG. always on the new because uh, we always doing new content. Yeah, Shit it's coming now. Yeah. and it's coming. And the things that we got lined up, yep. which we can't really talk about right now. We'll go. We'll as time goes. We'll you know communicate them to you but i want them to be you know ahead of the the curve with regard to that to be able to know exactly where we're going to be so yeah and and you know i'm always a fan of the meet and greets i've talked about that so many times meet and greets i just believe in that man people that support you to be able to come out and put it yeah man we're not doing this just to talk shit in a room like we want to meet we want to meet the people right absolutely i'm trying to hang out with them i'm trying to drink with them Absolutely, have five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine. If they watch the show, they know what we're about. They so already if know. If you yes. guys are about the shit we're about, like come find Absolutely. us. Absolutely, roll find something us. up with me. Roll something up. Meet exactly. me up. Yeah, roll that shit up when you meet me. Like, yeah, I want to smoke a blunt with everybody that's watching. Yep. Like, yeah, yep. that's that's my my bucket list shit. Yeah, I want to smoke a blunt with everybody, shake everybody's hand. But I appreciate first and foremost, man. I want to say this again. Because I think a lot of times in life we get past this and won't do it enough. I appreciate you and Miles, man, for everything course, y'all do, man, and how hard y'all push to make sure I got a good show. And, like, I don't worry about shit. Like, they do everything for me and make sure everything good. I just show up and talk shit. And yeah. they make sure all of the other shit that would make my nose bleed if I fucking thought about it and tried to figure it out, they handle that. So I'm peaceful and calm. So I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate everybody that watches. Yeah. You know what I mean? They yeah. take time out their life. Yep. Even if it's whatever, however long the episodes are, just to watch us, man, and give us some support, man. We doing big shit. And Hell man, yeah. Hell and yeah. I already see the future, man. It's, it's super, super fucking bright. So yep. we thank y'all so much, man. And follow us where they can find us at. Hit us up on Instagram, Russ.Parham. We're on YouTube. Just search Russ Parham, Russ Parham Show. You'll Absolutely. find us, man. Just Absolutely. type the name in the thing. You'll find us. The Russ Parham Show, man. Get with us. Let's so go. on behalf of my uh, Miles. Jake James, myself, man, we love y'all. We can't yeah. do what we do without y'all. I will never stop saying that. The Russ Parham Show, stay with us. Keep supporting us. We love y'all. Yo, let's go. We out. Peace.